Praise the Lord, everybody. God is so good. And truly the Lord's mercy, it endures until the end. Just stop by for just a quick moment to just talk about today. Hallelujah. How beautiful it was. First of all, to be reminded of how much God loves us. How much he loved us and that he sent his only begotten son, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. I want to be like Jesus. After we rehear the story all over again, and I know most of us, we read the Bible all the time. But when we come together as a fellowship, hallelujah, and we hear the gospel story all over again, it's something special about that. It makes you want to be like Jesus. Hallelujah. And I thank God for just all throughout this land, seeing churches packed with people all throughout the land, people hungry, people respecting God, knowing that this day was set aside to thank Jesus for what he had done, you know, his resurrection to celebrate what our Savior, our Messiah, our soon coming King, what Jesus did for us. And I remember as I was sitting in my very own service today, my thought went to as they were worshiping God, my thoughts went up to heaven. And I was thinking, you know, as Jesus sat on his throne, looking down at all the churches today, what he might be thinking, hallelujah, how the people were praising Oh, I wondered God. if Jesus was smiling when he saw how much all his people loved him and how grateful we are for what he has done. And as I conclude my day today, scripture came to mind found in the book of Romans. It's found in Romans, the 15th chapter, but let us pray first. Father, thank you so much for your word. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your only begotten son, Jesus. Thank you for the beautiful day that all Christians experienced today, Lord. We love you, we thank you, we praise you, and we bless you, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus for the powerful thing that you've done for us, how you redeemed us and gave us back our place with you, a relationship with you through your only begotten son. So I stop by God just to say thank you, God, as we conclude this day in the matchless name of Jesus. Amen. Romans 15, 1 declares, we then that are strong ought to bear the infirmities of the weak and not to please ourselves. Let every one of us please his neighbor for his good to edification. For even Christ pleased not himself, but as it is written, the reproaches of them that reproached thee fell on me. Oh, hallelujah. Jesus took our sin. He hung on that cross and bled and died for our sin. Can you imagine the weight of all of that sin? Sins in the past, sins present, and all sins to come. It's about a billion people in the world. Can you imagine bearing the weight of that sin? But I thank God for our strong Savior, hallelujah, that did it all because of love. And that's the conclusion of my day, love. And it helped me to see we ought to be like Jesus. I want to be like Jesus. I want to be one that bears other ones up. You know, those that are strong. You know, just encouraging one another. Sometimes, you know, we're around brothers and sisters that are going through. Let us be like Jesus. Let us be those that help one another. Hallelujah. And let us be those that edify one another. Do you want to I just wanted to stop by really quickly as I concluded my day and challenge you to be more like Jesus. That's what it's all about. Jesus died and he gave his life for you and for I so that we can imitate him. We are to be imitators of Christ and help one another. There's a lot of weak people as you know we see that you know just come to church on the two holidays, Christmas and Easter, hallelujah. But my prayer is that, you know, they get a hold to God, that something was said 
that arrests them, you know, get a hold of God and brings them back, not just for Easter, not just for Christmas, but brings them back. And those that are strong, when the ones come in that need a little assistance, I pray that God would use you mightily to be like his son, Jesus. Hallelujah. And edify one another. Hallelujah. Isn't that what Jesus would want? Isn't that what the Lord our God would want us to do. Hallelujah. To bear one another's burdens. Hallelujah. Especially those that are strong. Know today that God loves you. Know that I love you. I'm praying for you. And until we meet again, desire to be more like Christ. Hallelujah. And keep your eyes on him. God bless you. Videos without giving someone the opportunity to give their life to the Lord. You know, in the days and the hours and the time that we are living in now, it demands that you know who you are, who you belong to, and where you are going. And so I want to give you the opportunity to give your life to the Lord. If you have not heard the story, the Bible declares that we were all born sinners. It says over in the book of Romans, all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And that transpired back in the book of Genesis where Adam disobeyed God. And because of Adam's disobedience, sin and death entered into the world. And so Jesus, who was was God's sacrificial lamb because a price had to be paid for the sins of the world. So God sent in John 3 16, he says, for God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So that's what I want to give you the opportunity to do today, to accept Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, to wash away all of your your sin. Romans 10 9 says, if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, the Bible says you shall be saved. Romans 10 13 says, if you call on the name of the Lord, he will save you. So just repeat this prayer after me. Also, if you have walked away from the Lord, come on back home. Just say, Lord, I confess that I am a sinner. I'm sorry for the wrong that I have done. Please forgive me. I invite you to come into my heart and be my Lord and my Savior. I denounce Satan. I declare that Jesus is Lord. I believe that he died, that he was buried, and that he rose again. And now that I am your child, please fill me with your precious Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. If you have said that prayer, God bless you. Welcome to the family of God. Know today all of heaven is rejoicing because you have chosen to make Jesus your personal Lord and Savior. Welcome again to the family of God.